Hi, everybody. Uh, so, uh, we, with our friends, uh, reconstructed and uh, built a replica of a medieval sailing ship of Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia. Um, so, it was uh, in the middle of 18th, it was uh, our collective dream, and we tried to realize, we tried to realize uh, this idea. Uh, we understood that uh, uh, for uh, do it well, we must uh, have a uh, solid uh, scientific background, as from a historical point of view, as from technical. Uh, in, 80, uh, in 1985, we established a nautical research club and uh, started uh, uh, to a realization of our dream. Uh, we, we were uh, very enthusiastic and I uh, think that, okay, in three or four years we will sail. But years passed. We spent uh, six years for uh, research, for investigating the uh, uh, question. Um, after six years, at last, we found a uh, supporter. In those time, I work in uh, the Institute of Applied Problems of Physics. And uh, my chief, uh, believe us, when every, everything was o on paper only, and we uh, have uh, started money, we uh, decided to buy a timber for the. Uh, it's uh, the uh, 18th. Uh, we decided to uh, buy a timber uh, for our future ship. We, uh, as uh, we decide to build uh, the ship. Uh, 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 keeping medieval technologies, so we uh, went to, with my friends, went to the Northern Caucasus to uh, choose uh, trees uh, into the forest. And we spent two months there. At last we cut, uh, we cut it uh, 12 uh, huge logs and uh, rent uh, two uh, big vehicles to uh, bring uh, the logs to Armenia. And uh, of course, we pay for that, but additionally, we have an agreement with wood, woodcutters that we will pay uh, a bottle of vodka for each tree. It was a local uh, tradition. <laughs> so, uh, when the vehicle was full um, and we were ready, uh, we had been ready to start. Uh, suddenly, one of vehicle broken and uh, six huge logs uh, rolling down to the canyon. So you can imagine our situation there. So we sit and, uh, and know what we must do. Uh, we decide to send uh, one of uh, vehicle to Armenia with my friend, and I spent uh, more few days for uh, draw up uh, this log from the canyon. Of course, we'd, we have a good support from uh, woodcutters, uh, which was Hamsh Hamshi, uh, Armenian from Hamsh Hamshen. Yeah. Um, at last, we uh, brought the uh, timber uh, to Armenia, and after drying it, in uh, 26 of May uh, 1991, we um, uh, beginning our works. Uh, we blessed uh, the kill, the kill of the ship, and uh, the work started. Uh, the building of the ship took 11 years. <laughs> so I forgot. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, the uh, building took 11 years. Of course, you remember that it was very hard years, war, blockade, etc., etc. Uh, we, uh, we lose a few of our friends during the war. And uh, very interesting things, we, we, we feel that we as accepted uh, part of responsibility to realize our dreams from our friends, and uh, we hadn't any chance to come back. We must go ahead, and uh, we continue our work. At last, in uh, 2002, uh, the works uh, finished. And uh, we, uh, according to the old Greece tradition, we uh, tried to establish uh, this ship in the central square, Republic Square, uh, for public. And then uh, uh, went to Seven Lake. Uh, by the way, um, during the building and the sailing, uh, we uh, collect the, a lot of jokes about the ships, about the, our trip. The, uh, the one of, uh, of the joke, when we um, uh, went to, from Massey Station, well, when we uh, built the ship to the Yerevan, it was at night, 3 o'clock at night, no, no, no car in the streets, 
And suddenly from the one street, the car appeared, and the driver went out from the car and uh, looked at the huge, car, uh, huge ship on, on the street and told, guys, are you going fishing? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, in 25 of May, we launched the ship in the waters of Seven Lake. It was very bad, we bad weather, uh, raining and uh, windy. Uh, but uh, as soon as the uh, ship swam on, uh, on the waters, it was a very nice uh, picture. Uh, rain uh, disappeared, stopped. The uh, sky uh, clean, and uh, two rainbow appear. We accepted as a sign from heavens. <laughs> Uh, so uh, during two years, we were uh, testing and tuning the ship on the Seven Lake, and then in 2004, we uh, transported the ship to the uh, Black Sea. Uh, it was uh, the, uh, uh, another story, a uh, ship across the mountains of Armenia, Georgia, and the, uh, the mountain pass of Surami. Uh, we, suddenly we saw a very unusual ship, a very unusual uh, ship for Georgia, and we stopped our ship and uh, ran down to the canyon to meet the people who uh, drove the ship uh, up to the river of Zirula. So we, we, we saw the uh, red hair, red bar people and red bar and black bar people met. It was a Swedish which uh, made a dares uh, boat, a traditional Viking boat, and. Uh, came from Stockholm to the Caspian Sea. At, uh, two medieval ships uh, met, met in the mountains of Georgia. So <laughs> it was unbelievable. <laughs> now, of course, uh, in the, when we, uh, after when we uh, reached uh, Stockholm, all the crew was our guests. It was a very, uh, very warm meeting. Uh, at last, uh, we reached Poti and uh, uh, after reconstruction, of, uh, not reconstruction, but uh, uh, established the mast, etc., etc. We uh, in the 14th of July uh, we started our trip uh, around Europe, uh, which took three years in three stages. Uh, as in med medieval times, we sail only summer times because it was a uh, merchant ship, and merchants wouldn't like to sail during winter time because it was uh, it, it is stormy. Uh, so, um, the first stage we finished in Venice, where uh, ship uh, wintered. Uh, the next year, we uh, reached from Venice to Portsmouth, and the second time, uh, we wintered it in the south of uh, England, in uh, Cowes, in Isle of Wight. And the third stage, we started from England and uh, reached St. Petersburg, and uh, then uh, by the Russian rivers down to Black Sea. So, in the first time of the history of navigation, we uh, sail around Europe by water. Uh, so. So, uh, uh, you see, uh, as I told, it was our collective dream. Very often we, we have uh, questions from our friends, and not only friends, so uh, which we must do to realize the dreams. So firstly, we must believe that uh, it's possible to do. Uh, the second, maybe, you, you must live into your dreams, as in uh, it's your life. It's very important. And um, uh, also, we must do, uh, uh, think about the things which must happen after your dreams it, uh, will be realized, because it's uh, very bad if you uh, reach the top and then you see nothing. Uh, you must think about it beforehand, and we try to think about it, and uh, we must uh, do something after uh, realized our dream. And uh, of course, we uh, make uh, some steps in this direction, so we built uh, another two boats, uh, Sevanian boats. We, they, uh, these boats are sailing now on Sema Lake. Uh, we uh, organized an expedition, uh, joined with Anait Association to the Caribbean, when we found Armenian, uh, sinked Armenian ship there and shooting underwater film about that. And also we, uh, have a, um, we are planning to uh, look, uh, looking for uh, more, six more Armenian shipwrecks in the different ocean, and we, we are preparing a new expedition. So um, about the uh, uh, dreams also, 
it's uh, very important that uh, in, uh, there are children inside of each man, each, each uh, person. So don't kill the children inside of you. It's very important, and you can dream again. Thank you. Thank you.